Hello everyone. Many will wind down. Some will call on reserved energy and whatever remains of their resources to woo the undecided come Saturday, June 23rd, polling for the 2012 national elections. Perhaps not so much the undecided, but more to the point, not enticed yet, given the many reports of vote buying during campaigns. Three thousand four hundred and thirty-five candidates contesting this election will soon know whether it was all worth it, the promises, the pledges and the expenses. Among them are 135 special candidates whose quest for a role in Parliament is not aided by riches in pockets, but to become rich in the goodness of life in Papua New Guinea. They are the female candidates contesting various open and governor seats, trying to continue the good work of Dame Carol Kidu and those before her, Nahau Rooney, Dame Josephine Abaija, and Wale Ata Klaus. I make a pledge here that I will give you the best and I will serve you to the best of my ability and I will be with you. Thank you. Women in Papua New Guinea are determined to make their mark in leadership roles, sure to make a statement in this election. They are pushed, if a little too early to draw parallels, to the Clarks and Gillards of Down Under and Aurorys and Aquinos to the north. They are nevertheless challenged. The legislation on the 22 reserve seats for women has armed aspiring women leaders with new weapons to find their place alongside men in the supreme house on the land, the national parliament. The reserve seats for women came that close to becoming law, yet so far away. The O'Neill Nama government failed in its final attempt in parliament to secure the final reading a lot of work has already gone into this issue by various groups and individuals. The National Council of Women and the only female MP in this house, Dame Carol, stand out. And we're going to make sure that when we get into Parliament, we will change this constitution back to where it should be. The legislation is now left hanging. It may dangle at Waigani for a long time should women get elected in this election. They stand a much better chance this round than ever before. Not only are there more candidates than the last high number, 101 in 2007, but their purpose and rationale have gone up tenfold. I will win the Vani Green seat. If it's free and fair election, I'm going to win. I'm saying I'm the winner. Right now, I'm declaring myself as the winner for Vani Green seat. Central to that is the perception that male leaders are corrupt. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill has been on the defensive, saying not all fall into that category. But a good number of male MPs have done little to nothing